you sing so many songs, man. Uh, your song lists over 150 songs. Um, is there one style at all that? I mean, you sing so many different kinds of music. Is there yeah. one style you prefer over the others? I can't say there's one that I really prefer over the others, other than as long as it has a real cool beat. Mm -hmm. I, I really like anything with a soulful feel to it, you know. But um, I guess I would have to say that um, the most enjoyable music is what we're doing with Crown 50. That acoustic, organic, real from the soul. So your friends have been telling you I'm out of my mind Acting all wild and weird Shouting and screeching Bouncing off the walls and swinging from the chandeliers I've been running through the neon jungle I've been chasing every woman in town When you turn a man into a monkey So, Michael, I've been your producer for a long time, since like 94. Yeah. And um, through that period, you know, you're also a great songwriter, in addition to musician and, and artist in your own right. Um, how, tell me the story of how you come to write that, the, that one song, Dixon County Line. I stumbled on this little story about a, a moonshiner. This is in the late 30s about a moonshiner that had uh, actually committed the mortal sin, you know. He had a revenue man that was on his tail and he decided he'd had enough, so he sent him on home, you know. And I could never find out exactly what happened to the guy, whether they caught him or whether. So I had to kind of use my poetic license on it, you know, and finish the story. But it's, uh, it's none of it's pretty true to, to what happened, as far as I can tell. One, two, three. There was 16 gallons of moonshine in the back of Billy Lee's old truck. And he was headed for the Kentucky line, coming home before the sun comes up. And as he eased that truck in the overdrive out on Highway 49, there was a revenue man that was waiting down by the Dixon County line. Really chased him off the mountain and out along across the ridge. Billy Lee's old truck started smoking bad by the time they made the river bridge. So he pulled off on the shoulder and he reached down by his side. And as he grabbed that 12 gauge shotgun, he said, You ain't taking me alive. If you're gonna chase that lightning, Sometimes it's bound to strike you back If you're gonna chase that rainbow and Driven by grit and cold hard cash Well you can wind up like that revenue a man Billy Lee sent home to the promised land Now you can still feel his spirit in the night Down by that Dixon County line So, uh, Ed, we've been playing together a long time and uh, traveling together, a lot of road time, going down the road. You've never told me about the days when you were playing. I know you played with Michael Clark and the Birds. Uh, tell me about that. What was that like playing with them? 
Well, it was a very interesting gig. It, uh, it lasted about a year or so, and uh, I just, you know, was just the bass player in the band kind of thing. And a friend of mine called me up one day and said, uh, "Hey, Ed, do you want to go um, play with the Birds?" And I said, "Well, sure." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when do we meet? <laughs> so I met Michael in Evansville, Indiana, for their first gig. We never rehearsed or anything. Just got up there and just counted them off and started playing, and that was it. Looking back on the memory of the dance we shared stars above for a moment all the world was right how could I have known you'd ever say goodbye and now I'm glad I didn't know wait oh Our lives are better left to chance I could have missed the pain I'd have had to miss The Michael, uh, you know, you've been doing this all your life, man, um, singing and playing for the folks. You traveled the country, Mexico, you've been down to Mexico, up into Canada, had good success with uh, with your Say You're Gonna Stay album up in Canada on the air state, airways, and radio stations. Um, all along that time, man, it's, you know, it's a hard life. You could have quit at any time. What is it about the life of the musician and singer that uh, makes you stay with it? Well, that's a tough question because there's a lot of different things about it, but for me, the biggest thing, the biggest reason I stay with it is because of the, the feel that you get when you're feeding the crowd mm -hmm. and the, the feel that you get when the crowd throws it back at you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all about playing for the people. The fans. The fans. <laughs> and the, the artistic side of it, the aura that, that happens between the band members. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, it's just so... Uh, yeah. Uh, unique, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Nothing else in this world can compare to it. But the art form that happens on the stage amongst the musician, that's something that once you get a little taste of it, you know, it's real, real hard to not go back and get that second shot. Yeah. You know. And you and your ham. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I, do. Uh, <laughs> I do love it so. <laughs> Man, now we got crowd and fifty, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Crowd 50. <laughs> coming, coming soon to your, your venue and area. See you there. <laughs>